In this module, I will discuss GCE CV Builder Process. Here we will cover how to fill information, CV preview, changing CV templates, CV page setting, and saving CV as PDF. So when you log into your GCE user page and go to home page, it will look like this. If you go to my CV page, you will see CV template, create CV and change template, etc. Let's start filling all these information first and then we will go to change template section. When you start filling personal details, you cannot fill name, surname, and email ID, because these three information are locked. These information comes from your profile page that you provide at the time of login. Apart from that, you can fill all information one by one. So, let's fill the information. I am filling a dummy name, surname, and other information here, and you can fill your correct information to generate your CV. So, he is a drainage engineer, address is this, city is this. LinkedIn profile, you can fill in here. Name of your country, your contact number, your Skype ID here. If you don't have any Skype ID or other information, you can just put a dot. Same thing here, if you don't have a website, just put a dot. Don't leave it blank, otherwise it will not accept. Now, put the information of your work profile, expertise, etc. in this section. I am putting the information of a dummy profile, as shown here. Now, save it, and go to next section. So, here I have added, information of engineering degree, college, and, year as shown. You can add, another qualification, if needed. So let's add, Masters in Transportation Planning. For City let's, say New Delhi. College, let's say, J, C, Institute of Technology. Then put start month, and, year, and, end month, and, year. You can also add, description of your course, or, you can leave it, blank. It's your choice. So, that's your degree, and, master degree information. If you want to move, master degree, at top, just drag it up. Now, click here, to save, the information. Now, go to, work experience section, you can put, your designation, employer details, etc., here. Provide the start month, and, year to, end month, and, year, here. If you have, another employer detail, just click, on another work experience, and, then list down, the employment information, in respective sections.
Again, if you want, this one, to move up, just drag it up, and, that will come first, in your, work experience section. Now, save the information. In the, interest section, add your interests. If you add, more interest, just click, another interest button, and, add more interest. Now, save it, and, go to, next section. In reference section, you can select, yes, or, no, for reference request. Add, your reference details, if you have, references ready. Now save it, and, go to, next section. Now go to skills, you can add, your skill sets, like, your design skills, etc. You can add, number of skills, along with, the level of, expertise. Now save it, and, go to, next section. In language section, you can add languages, and, level of, expertise on those, languages. Now save it, and, go to next section. You can add, the ward, description, and, the year, in this section. Add, additional award, if you need to. Now save it, and, go to, next section. In training, and, certification section, you can add, your training, and, certificates details. Now save it. Once you complete, all that information, you can save it, and, go to, CV preview section. When you go to, CV preview, you can see, all the available, templates there.
For example, if you want, your CV, to look like this, just select, the CV template, save it, and, see the preview, and, it will look, exactly like that. If you want to add, your picture, go to your profile page, and add, or, change the picture here. Now, go to, preview section, and, see the CV preview. That gives you, overall CV profile. Now, you print this CV, just select, Control P, and, save this CV, as PDF. Now, go to, more setting button, you can select, paper size, and, you can select, the percentage. As you can see, this CV, is split, into two pages. So, if you reduce the size, it will come to, one page. Now, you can save it, as a PDF. When, you open the CV, as PDF, it will look like, this. I hope, you have enjoyed, this module. Please, read the disclaimer, for your information. Thank you.